Welcome to WebHarv tutorial series. In this video, we will see how WebHarv can be configured to automatically extract data from multiple pages of a website. For example, if you go to Amazon.com and search for any product, we can see that the search results span over multiple pages. This is called pagination, the technique employed by websites to display large amounts of data in multiple pages. There are various types of pagination. A different type is where websites load more data or products in the same page as we scroll down to the bottom of the page, also known as infinite scroll. If we go to our website and go to the help section and look under capturing data from multiple pages, you can see that WebRV handles all types of pagination techniques employed by websites. Let's study these techniques one by one. So let's start with a basic case where if you go down the page, you can see the links to subsequent pages and also a next page link. In this case, I have already started the configuration and selected some data. Let's see how pagination can be configured so that the selected data will be extracted from all these pages. For that, click on the next page link or the direct link to load page number 2 if the next link is not available and from the resulting capture window, select set as next page link option. It's that simple. After this, if required, you can follow the first listing link to get more data using the follow this link option. In this example, let's stop configuration and start mining. In the miner window, you can specify the number of pages to mine or you can click on the mine all pages option. Click the start button and WebHavi will start to extract selected data from multiple pages. Another method of pagination is when you scroll down to the end of the page and the website displays a link or button clicking which more data will be loaded in the same page. So in this example, you can see that if I scroll down to the end of the listing, there is a load more results page clicking which more data will be loaded in the same page. To configure pagination in this case, click on the link which will load more results and from the resulting capture window, select more options set as show load more data link. During mining, you will have to specify the number of pages to mine because the mine all pages link will be disabled. When you click the start button, WebHavi will first load all pages and mining will start only after loading the specified number of pages. Another case is where more data is loaded in the same page as we scroll down the page. You can see that the website loads more data on the same page as we scroll down. Here, to configure pagination, go to the configuration tab and select the scroll to load next page option under pagination pane. During mining, as before, you will have to specify the number of pages to mine because WebHavi does not know how many pages of data are there. When you start mine, as before, WebHavi will initially try to load all pages by continuously scrolling the page down and only after sufficient data has been loaded, it will try to extract data. So you will experience a delay before data starts to appear in the data table. There are three more methods offered by WebHavi to configure pagination. 
that can be used if all the above methods fail. The first one is to manually add the URLs or addresses of subsequent pages. So if you have a list of URLs, all of which needs to be scraped using the same configuration, you can follow this method. For this, during configuration, click on the URLs button under configuration pane and in the resulting window, you can paste the URLs of the next pages and apply. During mining, Webhavi will scrape data from all added URLs. The next method can be used if the URL of each of the subsequent pages contains its page number. Like in this example, the page number is a part of the URL. This can be handled by replacing the page number in the URL by a predefined code and adding that URL to the configuration just like in the previous method. The code to replace the URL number is this and the resulting URL is added to the URL's window of the configuration. The last method is to specify a JavaScript code running which the next page will be loaded. For this, during configuration, click on the Set JavaScript button under Configuration tab and in the resulting window, you can write or paste the JS code which would load the next page. Please refer this page in the help section of our website to know more details regarding each of the methods discussed in this video. You can find the link to this page in the video description. We hope that you find this video useful and in case you have any questions, please feel free to contact our technical support at the link given in the video description. Thank you.